Hi everyone, this is Paul Salvet out in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm the Managing Director of BB eBooks and this is how to view EPUB and Mobi eBooks on your uh, PC. And this can also uh, work pretty well for Mac. Um, so uh, at BB eBooks we always provide you with an EPUB file which is for most of the eBook stores and then a Mobi KFA file. The Mobi KFA file is explicitly for Amazon. So um, you have these files. They're actually standalone ebooks, and they can be loaded onto reading devices. But how do you view them on your PC? Obviously, you want to have a look at them before you uh, go ahead and upload them for sale. So um, let's take a look at uh, how to open these files. Um, the first file will be uh, we've got Wizard of Oz here in both EPUB and Mobi format. So how do I view the EPUB? Uh, first thing we need to do, we can go to the Adobe Digital Editions website. Um, just Google it, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go down here, click on Install. Okay, and Adobe will give you this kind of little song and dance here. You probably have to have Adobe Flash Player installed or something like that. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and install this. Okay. Now it gives you a message like this, just say OK. Um, and what you want to do is, um, I don't really need a desktop shortcut or a quick launch, but I'll put it in the start menu. OK, let's go ahead and install this. OK, all done here. All right, and it'll automatically open up uh, when you uh, finish installing. Now, uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to open um, our EPUB. So what it does is it affiliates uh, .epub extensions with Adobe Digi Digital Editions automatically. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's try opening, double-clicking on Wizard of Oz .epub. All right. Okay, automatically pulls up Adobe Digital Editions, and this is the Wizard of Oz. Now, for EPUB files, it'll generally open up on the, uh, the cover page. And you'll notice uh, on the left here, uh, we've got a little picture of the cover. We've got um, the title of the book. This is actually embedded in your metadata. This can be changed. And also uh, the author of the book, in this case, Al Frank Baum. And on the left, what this is, is called the NCX Table of Contents. And it's kind of like a metadata table of contents. And we can change all this to however you want it. Um, EPUB uses this. The Mobi does not really use the NCX table of contents. We'll discuss that in a bit. So what you'll have as you scroll through your ebook should start off with a cover and then maybe like a title page. And then you generally you'll come to the HTML table of contents. This is actually in the content of your ebook and these are all hyperlinks, right? So you can click on them and go to different parts. All right, scrolling down through paging through our ebook uh, you'll notice that um, every page break, or excuse me, every heading should start on its own page. That's because um, the way uh, we, we uh, do your ebook is to insert a page break before every major heading. This provides a better reading experience. Um, so that was the introduction. Now we have one, and you'll notice like a lot of times we have a drop cap. Uh, we can add that or take that away depending on how you want. Um, and now scroll through. And just kind of give your ebook a quick once over. If you go back up to the table of contents, you can uh, click to different parts. Um, let's see, we just went to chapter six. You can also click to different parts over on this side over here. So we can go to the queen of the field mice. All right, there we go. Um, now, a lot of people uh, sometimes ask about, um, say, hey, uh, why, why? can't I have, you know, I want like certain words on certain lines and things like that. And I want the paragraph, for instance, to only be two or three lines. Well, um, the, 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 the big idea behind ebooks is that it's a reflowable format. And that's important because it allows for ebooks uh, or e-reading devices on diff with different shapes and sizes to kind of be able to render it correctly uh, based on the reader's preferences. So, and also there's no real page numbers in ebooks because uh, once you change like the font size or the width of the viewport it'll change the number of pages so let's have a look here see we can shrink this here 
and maybe uh, this is maybe what it would look like on reading on an iPhone or something. So the page numbers really aren't that important. Um, but uh, what is important is that uh, your content is reflowable because this will allow uh, readers with different size devices to read your ebook in an enjoyable fashion. If you've ever tried to read like a PDF file on like an iPhone, it's it's terrible, it's miserable. That's why ebooks kind of have that competitive edge. Um, one thing about Adobe edi digital editions I don't particularly like, uh, they put these uh, weird page numbers here. Uh, they, it's a completely arbitrary system. It doesn't mean anything, and it blurs out the text. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to disable that. Uh, so um, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do about that until Adobe comes out with some new software. Okay, so that's kind of how to look at an EPUB on your PC. Now let's take a look at the Mobi. How do we open up the Mobi file? Remember, this one is exclusively for Amazon. So what we need to do is go to Amazon's website uh, this is the Kindle Previewer. You can, you know, copy this URL up here or just Google it, right? Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, okay, I agree to the terms in use. I'm going to download it for uh, Windows. Obviously, Mac users, you can download it as well. Uh, it works on uh, OS X 10.5 or above, so make sure your OS can support that. Uh, I'm not sure about Linux users. Sorry, I guess they uh, don't have... It, this for Linux. All right, so I'm going to download this. Now this file is a bit big, 120 megs. So uh, and I'm on a slower connection right now. Uh, so we'll wait for that to come up. Okay, so it looks like we've downloaded the Kindle Previewer installer, and I'm just going to open up this file. And uh, what this will do is uh, this will install Amazon's kind of special Kindle Previewer on your computer. Now you can use this to read Mobi and KFA files, but what's really neat about it is that it, it allows for a lot of different Okay, just kind of filling out the boring license stuff here. Okay, install. Here we go. Um, what you, you'll be able to do with Kindle Previewer is um, see how your ebook will look on the different um, e reading devices that Amazon puts out, such as the Kindle Fire, the Kindle Touch, uh, and the older e ink Kindles, and even uh, the Kindle for the uh, iOS devices like Kindle for iPad, Kindle for iPhone. Uh, that's how I read my uh, Kindle books is on the iPad actually. Uh, so uh, don't count that out. Um, okay, so we've installed uh, the Kindle Previewer and I'm going to go back to my Wizard of Oz.mobi file and we're going to try and open it, see how it looks. Okay, just give it a double click. It'll, um, the when you install the program, it will automatically affiliate uh, .mobi extensions to the Amazon Kindle Previewer and uh, give it a second to uh, open up here okay now generally it opens up on the Kindle Touch device um, it may take a while the first time you load it possibly because it has to download some more software so here it is over here okay so uh, this is kind of uh, what it will look like um, on the Kindle Touch. Now you can change how you want it to look by uh, clicking here like you can say oh I want to see how it looks on a Kindle Fire. Uh, these are like the older Kindles and then there's Kindle for iPhone, Kindle for iPad. Uh, Kindle DX is like an older device that Amazon tried a few years ago. It's like this really monstrously sized uh, e-ink screen thing. I have almost never seen anyone use them except this one guy I know. Um, so uh, let's try Kindle Touch. That's that's a pretty popular device, and a lot of people own one. So let's see how it looks. Um, so as you can see, um, the 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 Kindle it won't open to the cover page. You can access it by clicking here on uh, cover. Oh, there we go. Now you'll notice it's grayscale because um, uh, because this is a Kindle Touch. It's e ink, right? But if you go to like Kindle Fire, you, oh, okay, you'll see it in color there. Um, so scrolling through, you can also change it to either like a landscape 
or a uh, portrait mode. Let's try going to landscape. That might look a little better. There we go. All right. So pulling it out here, um, I'm going to scroll through, see how everything looks. Table of contents is over here. Okay. So this is kind of how it'll look on the Kindle. It should look pretty similar to how it looks on your EPUB, unless you ask for specific uh, differences between the EPUB and the Kindle. Now, uh, Kindle, a note on the drop caps. Drop caps um, and floating images can be supported on Kindle Fire and Kindle Touch. It cannot be supported on older Kindles, and right now not, it can't be supported on the Kindle for iPad. Uh, so if you look at Kindle, what we do is, uh, this is the normal Kindle, we kind of cheat and uh, we make, so only for older Kindle devices, we'll just make it like a bold letter and a little bigger. We can't really like float it off to the left like a drop cap. But definitely uh, go through uh, your ebook. You can click through the next sections here. Um, and you can access the table of contents by clicking this button or by clicking uh, this button. This pulls up the NCX table of contents. Now, the NCX table of contents isn't really used by uh, the Mobi format. Um, however, it does, um, the information provided in here uh, makes it so uh, it kind of instructs the device on how to go through each section. So uh, it does need to be in there, but uh, it's completely transparent to the end reader. They don't see this at all. Um, a lot of times, um, and so you can kind of click through the links, see how it looks. Let's try to go to the Kindle Fire look. Um, a lot of times, uh, readers want, like right when they open that file for the first time on their Kindle, to go to the start of the book. Not necessarily the title page, but the first chapter of the book. Um, you can see that by here, go to beginning. In this case, it just goes to the title page. But what we can do, we can specify it if you wanted to say go to um, chapter one, for instance. So right when the reader opens that book, it can go there. Um, we can uh, change that for you if you like. So this is kind of how to read uh, your Mobi file and preview it on the Kindle. And it'll look similar to this for Kindle users. So make sure that um, you're happy with everything and we hope you like it.